Alison Grot for the Open title. And the experienced Sebastian Ivanov. Already three times a Paralympian. And there's Talison Grot. Man, you know fairly well. Yeah, and every time he comes to one of these big competitions, he seems to have an additional tattoo. <laughs> there's Ivanov. And there, another Portuguese swimmer. Expect some support from him. Ivo Rocha. From Portugal, he is in the outside lane, in lane number eight. He will find it tough to qualify. Jing, the world record holder, set in Glasgow at the World Champs last year. The European record has stood for 12 years now. The great Igor Potnikov, another swimmer with no arms, Potnikov, kind of was a pioneer, really, back 10, 12 years ago. Yeah, those, the, those arm amputees really are very good at backstroke because they can rely on ultimately 30 metres under the water of fly kick, which is proven to be the fastest way of moving through the water. But Salas and Glock is trying to break that mould and be one of those athletes who breaks up those guys that are getting on the podium without any arms. And he's got his uh, disability down one side of his body. Yeah, he's got one arm and one leg, both on the same side. So. He finds it hard to balance, but he, he uses everything he's got, even that tiny little arm stump, he uses it in shoulder rotation to make sure that he's as balanced as possible. He actually changed programs after a very successful Glasgow 2015. But he's moved programs, he's now training alongside Andre Brazil, and uh, we all know that that man's got a lot to teach people, so hopefully we see some improvements this summer. And has he gained a selection for real? In 100 days? Talison Glock is one of the athletes, actually. He's, his time from Glasgow has put him on the peripheral, but this season he hasn't yet done a time, so he'll be looking to achieve that here. Talison Glock looking good there, coming into the red zone underneath the backstroke flags. And he's in 118.27. Wins that one comfortably. Semeninko, of course, 117.5. Alison Glock, looking pretty good. He'll have more to give. His entry time was 1.13. So a little bit more to offer, I think. Final. We'll see how the swimmers can get on. Here's a Portuguese swimmer. Just finishing now in lane number eight. Ivo Roca. See, yeah, 152.68. So Ivo Roca. A little bit off the pace. That one, there's, you can see, a good example there, isn't it? That shoulder rotation. Balance is so important on backstroke. My head used to spend most of the time under the water. <laughs> <laughs> That's not always the best streamlining, really, is it? No, it's just not a good plan for backstroke, <laughs> really. Fantastic <laughs> block, extend. Water here. We've got the S6 men. We're looking at the S6 women now coming out for the next event. Talison Glock. He'll be pleased with that, I think. Wouldn't yeah. have expected much more in the heats. Now, the Brazilians raced last week at their own Open Championships and then they flew straight here. So uh, they've been here since Monday, but I guess some of them will be just glad to get that first one out of the way. Result is confirmed. Talison Glock takes that one. Piet van Hofwegen from the Netherlands. Newcomer making his debut here at a major event. And Komarov from Ukraine in third position. We'll see what that means for 